This is a teaching video to demonstrate how to landmark for the cardiac valves, the apical impulse, and the apical pulse, while demonstrating how to drape the client and how to assist them to shift their breast tissue if needed. To begin with, you're going to ask permission to touch. Is it okay to touch? Yes. Okay, and I'm gonna start by touching your upper chest. So there's two ways first to locate the first two cardiac valves, the aortic valve and the pulmonic valve. I'll demonstrate the first way. You can start by feeling the clavicle on the right side. You're gonna palpate down to feel the first rib. Go into the space below the first rib. This is called the first intercostal space. And then you're gonna feel the second rib by sliding your hands down the chest wall and then slide my fingers into the second intercostal space. This is the location of the aortic valve in terms of where it is best heard. Now I can slide my fingers over to the left sternal border while still in the second intercostal space. This is the location of the pulmonic valve. That's the first approach to landmarking for the aortic and the pulmonic valve. Alternatively, I can slide my fingers down the maniobrium. I'm gonna start at the sternal notch, slide my fingers onto the maniobrium, down about an inch, inch and a half, until I hit a small ridge. This is the location of the sternal angle where the maniobrium meets the sternum. The second rib also attaches to the sternal angle. So you can slide your fingers out to the right sternal border and then drop your fingers below the second rib into the second intercostal space. Now again, we're at the location of where the aortic valve is best heard. Now we can slide our fingers across to the left sternal border. This is the location of where the pulmonic valve is best heard. Now I'm gonna keep my finger in that location and I'm going to landmark further down the chest wall to the fifth intercostal space. So to begin with, I'm gonna ask if you can just pull your tank top down just ever so slightly. That's gonna allow me to go down to the third intercostal space. And now I'm gonna move my finger down to the fourth intercostal space. When I'm at the fourth intercostal space, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the drape up, and you can do this ahead of time too if you like. And then I'm gonna get my clients, if you can just pull your tank top up now, and we'll keep you covered. I still have my finger in the fourth intercostal space, remember. I'm gonna switch hands, put this finger into the fourth intercostal space. Now I'm gonna slide my finger down to the fifth intercostal space. Now I'm at the fifth intercostal space, the left sternal border. This is the location of where the tricuspid valve is best heard. Now you're going to slide your finger to the left midclavicular line, still in the fifth intercostal space. This is the location of where the mitral valve is best heard. It's also the location of where you're gonna palpate the apical impulse, and it's also the location of where you're gonna auscultate the apical pulse. Okay, when we're done, now you're gonna ask the client to put their t-shirt back down, keep them covered up. When you complete this task, every time you're assessing for the cardiac valves, the apical impulse, and the apical pulse, it's important to explain each step that you're doing because some clients can feel uncomfortable or a little bit awkward having you touch their anterior chest. You also need to make sure you ask permission to touch and just pay attention to their nonverbal cues as well.